time. Leslie Frazier can only hope he's able to rebuild the Vikings the way Glenn Caruso was able to rebuild the St. Thomas football program. Caruso was recently named the Division Three National Coach of the Year. Chris Long has his story. His award reads National Football Coach of the Year, but this year's winner says that's an inaccurate title. One guy got the award and one guy gave the speech, but it is absolutely not an individual award, nor will I accept it on that premise. It's a team award, and I will accept it with a lot of pride on behalf of the UST community. Caruso's Tommies are an unlikely comeback story. After a two-win season in 2007, he took over to win 7, 11, and 12 games in three years since. It's not the first time he's beaten the odds. When I was four, the doctor told me that uh, I probably wouldn't make it to my fifth birthday. Childhood leukemia threatened his life, but Caruso beat it, even crediting a side effect with influencing his career. For about a year and a half when I was in kindergarten and nursery school, I had to wear a football helmet to school and fears that if I would fall down and hit my head, I probably uh, could have died. And to this day, I think my dad does believe that my love for football came because when I was four and five years old, I had to wear a football helmet every single day of my life. Caruso's using a $50,000 grant that came with his award to help families suffering through what his own family once knew. It's a foundation that's set up to support the families of children dealing and battling uh, cancer and blood disease. He hopes his foundation gives those families comeback stories of their own. In St. Paul, Chris Long, 5 Eyewitness News. Caruso led the Tommies to their first MIAC Conference Championship since 1983.